Conference USA announces Players of the Week for February 18th. Houston sophomore Tayshawn Thomas is the Player of the Week, and Tulsa forward DeAndre Wright selected as the COSA Freshman of the Week. Thomas averaged a double-double with 27.5 points and 13 rebounds a game as the Cougars went 1-1 one one in conference play. He set career scoring highs in back-to-back -back games, including his first 30-point effort with 31 points in triple overtime at Tulsa. He scored the Cougars' final seven points in the first overtime. Thomas led all players with 15 rebounds for his team-leading 11th double-double of the season and 20th of his young career. Earlier in the week against UTEP, he led all players with 24 points, 11 rebounds, and a career-best 7 assists. Wright scored 21 points on 8 of 11 shooting to lead Tulsa to a 101-92 triple overtime victory over Houston. Wright came up big in extras, carrying the Golden Hurricane with 14 of the team's 31 overtime points. He made 5 of 6 field goals and all 4 free throw attempts, then added 4 of his 7 rebounds in OT. Wright also credited with 2 block shots and a steal. This is his second consecutive Freshman of the Week. On the women's side, seniors Celeste Stewart and Javenia Carter have been named Conference USA Women's Basketball Co-Players of the Week, and Houston's Marche Amerson earned her second Freshman of the Week. Stewart poured in a career-best 26 points to lift the Pirates to a 63-47 win against SMU, handing the Mustangs their first conference loss of the season. She had a huge second half, tallying 19 of her 26 points. Stewart came back three days later against Southern Miss and recorded another double-figure scoring game with 11 points. She also grabbed five boards, had three assists and one steal in 30 minutes. For the week, the senior point guard averaged 18.5 points, 3.5 rebounds, and shot 53% from the field. Carter helped lift UCF to a pair of CUSA wins over Southern Miss and UTEP. She recorded a career-high 29 points at USM. Against UTEP, she helped the team rally from a 10-point deficit to clinch its first OT win in two years. Carter averaged 25 points per game on 57% shooting, which included a 50% showing from three-point range. Amerson averaged 11.5 points while shooting 59% from the field to help lead Houston to a split in CUSA contests against Tulsa and Tulane. She scored 15 points and pocketed three steals in a double overtime win against the Green Wave. Amerson played a vital role in the team's 16-point comeback, hitting a jumper to cut the deficit to seven before bearing a three-pointer to give the Cougars a five-point lead with seven minutes remaining. She posted eight points and matched a career high with two triples on four attempts against Tulsa. The first USA Pitcher of the Week go to a pair of pitchers that turned in outstanding opening night performances in Rice Jr. right-hander Austin Kubica and Tulane sophomore right-hander Tony Rizzotti. The hitter of the week went to Houston freshman second baseman Josh Vidalis. Pitching competitively for the first time in two seasons, Rizzotti pitched a one-hit complete game shutout against Sam Houston State to open the season for the Tulane Green Wave, striking out five and walking only one. It was the first time Tulane notched a complete game shutout since Conrad Flynn did on March 20, 2009. The nine innings thrown against Sam Houston State were more than twice as many innings he pitched during one season at TCU in 2011. Kubica started on opening day against 7th-ranked Stanford and posted one of the highest individual strikeout totals in the country with a career-high 12 Ks in six innings of work. He did not allow any runs in the outing, scattered just four hits and allowed four walks to hold the Cardinals to a composite 182 batting average. Vidalis led Houston to a series win over Northeastern, batting 500 from the leadoff spot. Vidalis posted an impressive start to his collegiate career with a 4-for-5 effort, including a double, a run scored at RBI in his first collegiate appearance Friday night. He notched the base hit in all three games and drove in two runs in the first two contests. With one out and Houston down 2-1, Vidalis helped keep the five-run third inning alive in Game 1, doubling to right and later scoring on a bases-loaded single. He did not commit an error with five putouts and 12 assists, including eight assists in Game 2 of the series. Vidalis currently leads the team with a 600 on base percentage and is second with a 583 slugging percentage. To the softball diamond and Tulsa sweeping this week's softball honors as junior Amy Krieger has been named Conference USA's top pitcher and Haley Henshaw is the hitter of the week. Krieger compiled a 0.93 ERA and a 2-0 record in two complete games leading Tulsa to a pair of wins over number 25 Florida State in the championship of the Unconquered Invitational. She struck out 24 batters against five walks and allowed just seven hits and two earned runs in 15 innings. On Friday against Florida State, she had a no-hitter through seven innings of scoreless softball and finished with 13 strikeouts and two walks. 
Sunday, Krieger punched out 11 batters, allowing no earned runs on four hits and three walks. After FSU scored its first run in the second inning, Krieger scattered three seminal hits over the final five innings, allowed just four base runners, and recorded 10 of her 11 strikeouts in that spam. This award is the second of the season and sixth of her career. Henshaw hit 400 and drove in seven runs with a pair of home runs, leading Tulsa to a 4-1 record at the Unconquered Invitational Championships. She tallied five hits, all seven RBI, and both home runs in three games against number 25 Florida State and number 21 Hofstra. In the tournament opener on Friday against Florida State, Henshaw hit a three-run home run in the top of the eighth inning to break a scoreless tie and lead the Golden Hurricane to a 3-2 win. In the following game against Hofstra, she went 3 of 4 with 2 RBI and a run scored. In the finals against Florida State, she launched a 2-run homer as part of a 3-run first inning that led the Hurricane to the 4-1 win. The award is the first CUSA Hitter of the Week for Henshaw. And finally, to track and field, Tulsa's Chris O'Hare earned CUSA's Indoor Male Athlete of the Week, while Tyshonda Hawkins of East Carolina earns the Female Award. O'Hare was named the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association Division I's National Athlete of the Week after he set the collegiate mile record at the 106th Milrose Games, clocking a time of 3 minutes and 52.98 seconds in the prestigious Wanamaker Mile. O'Hare's time bettered the time of 3 minutes, 54.54 seconds set last year. O'Hare's mark also is the second fastest time by a British athlete and shattered his old personal and school record of 3 minutes, 56.48 seconds. Hawkins clocked a winning time of 7.48 seconds in the 60-meter dash, just .04 seconds shy of matching her personal best of 7.44 at the Kent Taylor Invitational in Chapel Hill. In the preliminaries of the same event, she placed second with a qualifying time of 7.63. This is her first CUSA Track Athlete of the Week. For the Conference USA Digital Network, I'm Stacey Earpley.